I know why you're here. You want to learn to make some cool emotes and can God, Lord, why do I keep doing this to myself? All right, guys, y'all want to learn how to make some really cool emotes uh, in Canva. Let's get to it. Also, make sure you hang out to the end because I have a special trick to show you guys how to test your emotes before you ever upload them to Twitch. Let's go. Fair warning on this one, I always like to let you guys know ahead of time if this is gonna require Canva Pro, and this one will require Canva Pro. Uh, just to be able to export with a transparent background, we don't have the option of chroma key like we do on some of our other stuff. So this one will require Canva Pro, which you can get for free down below, at least a 30 day free trial using my link. And if you use it, it does help me out. Um, otherwise, still hang out, watch the video. I really think you'll learn something. And that little tip at the end about uh, testing the emotes out is just uh, oh, uh, worth a million dollars, honestly, being able to test those out before you have to wait for Twitch to approve them to see how they look. Just, uh, yeah, anyway, enjoy the video. Let's get to it. Also guys, through the month of March, I'm running a special giveaway over on Twitch. So I'm gonna have a code at the end of this video. If you hang out till the end of the video and show up over on Twitch and share that code, it'll get you 10 free tickets into the giveaway. Uh, so if you wanna win a piece of Dr. Hill's merch, be sure to come over and hang out with me on Twitch and get that code at the end of the video. I stream every Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday over at twitch.tv slash Dr. Hills. All right, let's get into it. It's canva.com. We're gonna load it up and we're gonna create a new document. We're gonna go ahead and I just do a custom size, 600 by 600. Um, it doesn't really matter. Uh, as far as I know right now, the size doesn't really matter. You can upload it at about any size and Twitch will resize it for emotes. Uh, I don't believe that's true for sub badges, but at least for emotes, you can upload it to any size and you're fine. So we're gonna start right here and let's say we want to make a, you know, GG, good game. Maybe someone wants to congratulate you. I'm gonna just do something pretty basic here. I'm just gonna go to text. And I mean, I can scroll through here and find a decent design I like, kind of like this one right here, right? I mean, that looks pretty cool. We just type in a GG. I'm gonna click right here and I'm gonna hold down Alt to drag it up. Now, okay, I'll show you the flaw that I'm seeing right now with this one. When you're designing an emote, the one thing you have to do is you have to think about it in a square. So you want it to be able to, I'm gonna perfectly center, you want it to be able to fill up as much of the square as possible. And as you can see, there is a lot um, there is a lot of room uh, above and below this. So we're not even coming close to filling up that square. So I really wanna find a taller, wider font is gonna stand out a lot more. It doesn't mean we have to change uh, this effect that's currently on there. We kinda like this glitch effect that's happening right now, but I wanna choose a font that's coming out a lot bigger and bolder, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna click through. Um, that's a custom one that I have. What about that one? Um, let's keep looking. And really, maybe what I'm looking for at this point is something taller. Okay, so I think a font like Babis is is pretty good for this. So I'm gonna go and center it, and I'm gonna bump this up. We'll try about 300. Maybe can go a little bigger, maybe try 350. Sure, maybe even 400. We wanna again fill up as much of the square as we can, and as you can see, this one is now filling up a lot more. If you feel like it's not readable, you can always go into the effects, um, and you can adjust that offset where it's not you know, as much, you can, change it to the, the purple and blue. Um, you can play around with it however you'd kind of like to, to make sure it's still readable. I kind of, I did like it more uh, horizontal, just like that. So there you go, there's the first one. Um, and of course with this, I'm just gonna duplicate it and show you. With this, uh, if you don't like the, the glitch effect, play around with them. Why not go with a neon? Maybe a nice neon blue will kind of fit your feel. Uh, one thing I really like with that effect in particular is if you take the intensity and you bump it all the way up, all that shows up is the white. Um, so I actually think that really looks good just like that. That, that looks really clean. Um, and then if you want to make sure um, it shows up really well, one thing you can do is uh, I'm going to click off. I want to click it and I'm just going to duplicate it, move it into place just like that. I want to turn the effect off. So this one ha now has none on the inside. And I'm going to give it a nice color that goes well, maybe that green. Um, and there you go. You have that kind of neon, different colored neon effect around the green. And I believe those will show up quite well. You can also lower this uh, kerning in this to bring those letters a little closer together, just like that. And now we could even make them larger. Um, as you can see, when you're playing with letters, topography here, you can just do, do whatever you want. You have fun with it. All right, I'm gonna create a new artboard. And now we're gonna say we want to bring in uh, some form of a character. Or let's say we wanna do a rip emoji first. So I'm just gonna type in RIP. There we go. Uh, that was pretty easy. 
There you go. There's your there's a rip emote. As simple as that. Grab find the one that fits your style, right? Um, but okay, so we don't want to do that. Say we want to find we want to use uh, we want to do a rip with what like a like a scythe. So that, that's the that's the tool the Reaper carries, right? Yeah, there we go. Pick pick your flavor, right? Pick the one that you like. Uh, ooh, that one's that one's nice and creepy. Right, go with this one. Now, some of these are pros, so you may need to sign up for a 30-day free trial of Canva um, to use some of these. If there, if you see that little pro badge right there, um, and you can actually get that 30-day free trial in my link down below. It actually helps me out if you do use it, uh, but that is up to you. But a lot of these are pro. If you don't have the pro account, you can click right here, um, and you can make sure it only shows you the free ones. You can see it's a lot more limited, but we can work with it. Let's uh, let's see. We throw this in there. Um, we can work with it. Maybe we can change it into your colors. Whatever those colors may be. Um, kind of throw your text on there um, and go from there, right? Uh, I do have Pro, so I'm going to turn that off and just so I can show you what we can get with Pro. Yeah, so we want to throw this guy in there. He's nice and creepy looking now. He is kind of breaking my rule that he's not quite taking up the full square. There's a lot of room left here on the sides. Um, and I'm not a huge fan of that, so maybe something I would do. And we're just we're just to toying around, playing with it. Um, make this guy a little smaller, like a little mini one. Or I don't I don't know. Yeah, maybe maybe it doesn't look good. Oh well, yeah, you can play around. Pixels are free, right? All right, make this guy kind of big, like that. And now we're gonna throw a word underneath. I'm gonna go text again. I'm gonna scroll through there and see if there's any of these templates that kind of match what I'm going for here. Something kind of creepy, um, but big and bold. No, maybe not. This one, sorta. Let's get that one out of here. Let's ungroup that and delete that one. And I'm just gonna resize this one up. Right. And there we go. Kind of have something, something sorta like that. I don't. I would like for this to take up more of the screen, maybe. Uh, it may even be a little bit bolder. This one may end up not working, but that's why we're gonna test it at the end. Um, so if you want to see how we test our emotes, uh, hang out till the end and I'll show you how we do that. Something, you know, something along these lines. Yeah. Anyway, kind of get you there. Next we're going to jump in, we're going to try out a character one. Now I personally love these whenever a streamer has uh, several of the same characters, whether your branding is, you know, penguins or ghosts or, or goblins, you know. Um, Canva actually makes a lot of that stuff really easy, so let me show you. I actually have not tried goblins, so let's, let's check it out. All right, goblins. Let's see our th say our theme is goblins. This guy's kind of cute, right? Maybe not. I'm gonna keep looking. What I'm looking for is some that have magic recommendations that are similar. Um, okay, that that one does. I don't necessarily love that style though myself, so I'm gonna keep looking for just a moment. Okay, so right here you see you have several goblins, several of this theme to choose from. You can go with uh, a little ghost. Uh, you see, it's always gonna pop up this pop up this magic recommendation right here where uh, it's gonna give you more options to go from. Now, every time I click it, it's adding one, but I can just select them on and delete them. Um, now, this is kind of cool. I kind of like this little monster right here, right? And so I can see him being being like a little character in your stream, you know? Uh, I'm gonna click see all so we can see a little bit more uh, in that style. So kind of going off there, I'm gonna type in monsters real quick. I find that monsters are pretty, pretty generic term that comes up with a lot of stuff. This guy's cute, he kind of matches, right? And there we go. We have a ton of choices now. And most of these guys, looking at the size of them, will take up that square like we were talking about. So these should show up good as, as good emotes. Now, it would be nice if we could get like a monster crying or something for a sad face. Uh, maybe some different faces, different postures, things like that I think look really good. Um, and for that, we may just have to do a little bit of searching. But say your branding is kittens, right? Um, you could type in kitten and, and find one that kind of matches what you're going for. Take a look at the magic recommendations. And there is a whole bunch of little figures that you can use in your emotes. All right, so one more that I didn't even have planned, but I think we might try to make one on the fly. Um, let's see, let's see. What's a lot of people use? We, a lot of people use a hype emo, emote, right? A hype emote. So let's let's just look and see what comes up if we type in hype. Okay, a few different, a few things, a few things. You can get something sort of like this. That's kind of cool. It's not going to take up our square. I can already tell you that. Does that give us any ideas? No, but this does. 
And look at that, we can even adjust the colors of this star. So let's say our colors was uh, kind of incorporating that green we had earlier. This actually looks pretty good right there. And clicking our magic recommendations, we have a lot of other shapes just like that um, that would match this brand. But say you take this little star right here, right? And now we're gonna hit text. Um, or you can just press T and type, it automatically brings up text. You don't even have to have that selected. Uh, I'm gonna all caps, type out hype. We can keep that font to Babis New, which is what we were using earlier. Hold down Alt and drag that up just like that. And I'm gonna try to bring it down here. Let me all bring this one up just a little. Uh, we're just toying around at the moment. Keep it just like that. I wanna actually add sort of a drop shadow on it. And so the way we're gonna do that is we're actually gonna do neon just like we did before. Bring it all the way up. And you see how it adds that shadow on it? Now remember, I'm gonna duplicate that word. This is where we're just putting together different techniques. I have it right there. Now I actually want to remove all the effects off of that word and I want it to be my nice green color. And so now I have that word hype on there with a drop shadow on it. Um, now let's say we actually want to go a little further. I'm going to duplicate this again and I'm going to go to my effects and I want to go ahead and add a little bit of glitchiness on it. Just like that, just to kind of match which that purple doesn't match as much, unfortunately. So let's go away from the glitch. Let's go, let's just go with a little bit of a neon. So we have that neon fill underneath it with that drop shadow. Anyway, you kind of see where I'm going. You can stack effects until you end up with something you like. With that said, do you want to learn how to test your emotes before you upload them to Twitch to see how they look? Glad you asked. Let's get to it. Okay, you're going to open up your new tab. You're going to go to a website called App lick.dev don't worry i'll have this in the description below you don't have to memorize it but this is the website we're going to be using i'm going to press enter and it's very very simple right here it's just wants me to upload my emote so what i'm going to do is i'm going to test one of these dudes out all right so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to next door maybe page two um and and we'll do we'll do two three we'll do a few of them so here's what i'm going to do i'm going to download uh transparent background and i'm just going to download all pages okay so everything i just made i'm just going to download into one single file now again, to download as a transparent background, you will need a pro account. Um, so make sure you use the link down below to get your pro account. You get it 30 days for free. So make your emotes, get them all done with, um, and then cancel the account. But if you enjoy working with Canva, I highly recommend the pro package. I personally use it nearly on a daily basis. So um, I, I do recommend it. All right, now that file's all done, we're just gonna un unzip it. There we go, and extract it right there into my downloads. Excellent day. There they are. Don't they look nice right there? All right, so I'm just gonna drag this over where I can click back to it. I'm gonna go to the, the inspection window. I'm going to grab the one I want. So we'll start with this GG, just see what it looks like. And right there, we now see exactly what it looks like, both on a light background and a dark. And that's one reason I love this website. It shows you if someone has light mode on, like who even does that? If you have light mode on, comment down below and let us know. Actually, let us know down below in the comments, are you light mode or dark mode on Twitch? I, I gotta know, all right? But here's what it looks like on light mode. It's what it looks like on dark mode. Now we'll say, you gotta be careful with that glow. If you see right here at the bottom, it is being cut off. Um, so I would actually want to go back and scale this one down, right? Um, and so we may drop it back down to about 350 just so that glow doesn't go all the way to the outsides, okay? Um, that's just me, personal preference. I don't like to see that glow cut off. All right, so next let's try this one. There we go, rip, looks good, looks good. Little bit hard to see, a touch hard to see on, on dark, but I don't think too bad. I, I would be willing to run it. Let's try this one, I was curious about this one. Yeah, yeah, I think he looks good, I think he looks good. All right, um, what about our little monster guy? I think he's cute, love it. And our hypes. Just like that, all our emotes coming out looking pretty good. Now, if you wanted those special tickets into the giveaway, here's how you get them. All right, if you guys want those free tickets into the giveaway, here's all you gotta do. Jump over on Twitch at any time while I'm live during the month of March and type into the chat, exclamation mark, team dark mode. Okay, team dark mode. And we'll have it on the screen somewhere team dark mode and you'll get those free tickets guys i do hope this video was helpful if you made something with it do me a favor and jump in the discord down below and uh, post in the share your art section what you made i'd love to see it guys i appreciate y'all and remember subscribe to this channel follow over on twitch for more content i'll catch you in the next one right click the throne i don't right. like this already right click real quick i don't like it already what don't you like it's too small oh right right click turn on your thermometer
Now I think... You control the mouse. Okay, 20 degrees. So that gets to the 12. You control the mouse. No, I don't want to do the mouse. I'm, I'm not playing. But you are, though. No.